Hey YouTubers, got another video review for you today. This one's from a company by the name of Loving Flame. This is their tabletop fireplace and uh, this is their larger model. This is the TT-M240 and uh, they also have a, a smaller model. It's the 180. Now this one here uh, retails for $325. But the smaller one is uh, 285. Uh, now it does come in three different colors. It comes in the black, the green, and the blue. And then when I say uh, three different colors, I'm referring to like the uh, the trim that goes around the stainless steel uh, piece there in the middle, and then around the the stainless steel uh, tank. So you can get it configured uh, those in those different colors. The reason I wanted this thing was just because. Who don't want to play with fire? I mean, it just looks amazing. You know, it just gives that ambiance whenever you turn the lights out and you watch the watch the flames dance around. And so, I don't like burning candles in my house just simply because they they give off soot. So I, I haven't burned candles in in years because I, you know, I, I've spent all that money repainting the inside of the house. So I don't want to have to repaint again. And so that's what really caught my eye with this product. And it burns this special fuel that is just crazy i've never heard of anything like it it's uh like a, a water-based um uh, fuel didn't know that something like that would even burn so anyways so check that part out i'm not going to get into all the fuel and all that i'll show it to you here in just a few minutes but you know i'm no expert at all this uh th this is actually my first time opening the product i went ahead and opened it and uh took everything out of the package and set it on the table in yonder and I, I just want you guys to to look at it and we'll fill it up with uh, some fuel here in just a minute and I'll show you how everything works. Now I gotta say whenever you get the product and take everything out of the box and uh, you know everything's wrapped up really nicely and uh, you know it only comes in just a, a few pieces it's very easy to assemble. First things first, you'll notice that the uh, the, the fuel tank down here at the bottom is, uh, and basically the whole bottom of the unit is made out of a high quality stainless steel. Uh, I know the wick here is made out of uh, uh, 304 stainless, and uh, I would say the rest of the unit is probably 304 stainless. And if you're not familiar, it's the best that you can you can get. I mean, it is a like a food grade, so it won't rust. It's made to last for sure. Uh, now, it's not very heavy. I think it weighs about eight pounds. Now, first things first, this is basically just a trim ring that goes around everything. And the way that it installs is you just set it right down on top of there. And, uh, you know, you're pretty much uh, halfway done. Then, then they give you these uh, pieces of glass or whatever that fits down in these slots. Very, very simple to install. Once you slide those down into the slots, then you're finished. That's all, you, all you've got to do to assemble this thing. Now they provide you with a thing to put the, the fire out. You just slide this in there. Well, you can see that it looks very, very sharp. The, uh, the black housing, outer housing right here, it's uh, powder coated. So it should last a long time. Shouldn't have to worry about rust or anything with it. Uh, and, and the finish just looks great. There was nothing scratched. Uh, so I was very pleased with all that. Comes with a very uh, easy to read instruction manual. I've had some manuals through the years that uh, you might as well not even look at them because uh, they're not uh, very good. But this one is very well illustrated and uh, it's very detailed. Now, as far as the uh, special fuel that you have to use in these, what you do to fill them up, uh, basically uh, pour some uh, into that little hole right there. And I think that little uh, red piece acts kind of like a float and so when it gets to the top right here of this little housing is when you quit um, putting fuel in it so now whenever you uh, fill it up and everything uh, they say to take and pour a little bit of the fuel just over top of the wick area right in here and I'll pull this piece of glass off where you can see but it uses like a stainless steel mesh wick and you just want to pour just a little bit across through there so uh, it'll light up now one of these bottles is uh, one liter of fuel and uh, the, the the fireplace here a uh, hold uh, two 
two liters total. So that'll provide you with up to four hours of burn time. So that, you know, it lasts a pretty good while. Now, the whole unit comes with a one year warranty uh, on, on the whole unit, but then the uh, wick comes with a five year warranty and it's rated at like 2000 hours. So you should get a lot of use out of it. It's pretty much windproof. Uh, I've seen on their, their website, uh, they've got a video on there uh, to where they put like a fan and tested it and it, it was blowing, I believe, um, I don't know, 10 or 12 mile an hour winds and uh, the flame didn't go out. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this thing up full of uh, fuel and I'm gonna show you guys uh, just how it works. So this will be my first time. I went ahead and pulled that black outer ring and the cap off of here and removed the glass and everything. And uh, I wanted to show you how I'm gonna refill these up and just exactly how much it takes. I went ahead and opened the fuel, pulled the cap off of it. Now I will say that I did get a little bit of fuel on my finger and uh, it didn't have any smell at all to it. So I found that was pretty interesting. So I'm gonna try to get this all poured in here. And it does say in the directions, like I said before, that whenever you're filling this thing up, that that little bitty red uh, float down in there will float to the top, I guess to the very top of uh, that edge right there. And uh, that'll let you know that it's uh, full. So that should be pretty easy to tell that. I'm actually doing pretty good. I didn't think I would be able to do this without spilling some, but you know, they made the opening big enough to where, you know, you can pour it in there without no, no major problems. Plus the, uh, the fuel is really thick, so it's really easy to pour. I can see the float f moving around now. It's, it's up, it's raising up there. Yeah, you can see that it's uh, popping up. Now, mine popped up. I don't have quite uh, two liters in there. There's still a little bit left. It said not to overfill. I'm just going to put a little bit more in there. So, I'm just going to leave it right there. I ain't going to put the rest of it in there. There's probably about a... I don't know, an inch and a half left in the bottom of this um, container. It said in the directions to uh, pour some of the fuel over the wick there. And uh, that way it, it's going to have to be wet for it to ignite. So this is probably where I'm going to spill a little bit more than what I want. Well, I did fairly well. I didn't spill any. I'm proud of myself. So now that I've got everything filled up and I have this part up here uh, wet, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to take and, and reassemble the fireplace here. I'm just going to go ahead and put the uh, black trim piece back on. I'm going to go ahead and insert the... Uh, pieces of glass into the little uh, groove that they've got set right there beside the wick and then uh, it says to go ahead and put the uh, the little rubber cap uh, back on on the unit and then now now you should be good to go I'm gonna go ahead and light it up now it did say in the directions not to use matches or anything like that uh, and the reason being, I'm, I assume, is because it can it can take a few seconds. It's set up to like 10 seconds for it to light. So they provided me with a, uh, a butane torch uh, to light it with. Uh, seems like a really high quality torch. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and get it going. And what you want to do is when you get it, you just squirt your butane down here in the bottom. And then you turn it uh counterclockwise to open uh, the gas valve and then you mash in with your your thumb right there and then it lights up and then when you let go it turns off so I guess what I'm gonna do next is go ahead I've never done this before so 
I guess I'm going to do it right up through the top here. Wow, it light, lit right up. I wasn't real sure, you know, when you're lighting something for the first time, you're like, uh, did I, do I do it too much or did I do it too little? But no, it, it lit up just a, a tiny bit. And uh, man, it looks beautiful. I've got to say, that's pretty amazing. I mean, it smoked a little bit uh, when I, I lit it up, but it didn't have any smell to it. It wasn't a black smoke, uh, so I didn't, didn't smell anything and already it's just giving off you know an amazing looking yellow flame so you know i think it looks awesome and you've seen that it it lit up great for the first time i mean that was the very first time that i've ever uh tried to light it or whatever in fact i just got it in the mail yesterday so now i've got to say uh, i think it looks pretty daggum sharp here in my living room i've got it set on my my table and I really love the table because uh, it's got that modern look and then when you put that on top of it it just looks it looks really really sharp can't wait for just a few more hours till it starts to get to get dark and I'm gonna light it back up and uh, test it out just imagine you guys could have one of these too it's awfully nice and uh, I gotta say I can I can feel the heat off of it don't see any smoke whatsoever and uh, don't smell anything at all uh, like i said i got a little bit of that fuel on my fingers when i was filling it up and uh i can't smell a thing so i couldn't be happier with it and i think it looks absolutely amazing and uh you know if you want to put it in your house you can if you want to put it outside you can as well too but uh you know uh this is the uh the larger model and i'll go ahead and give you the dimensions on it here in just a sec now, if you're looking for somebody a nice Christmas gift, this makes a, a nice one. Now, as far as the length that going this way, it's uh, right at 20 inches. And then seven and a half, as far as the height goes, let's see here, two and a quarter high. So, you know, it's got a pretty small footprint. Now, one other thing uh, that I wanted to make mention is they sell another model uh, like this that has a set of uh, some glass that goes around the outer perimeter of this. If you have little kids or something, you don't want them to touch. Uh, it has like a little stand, it looks looks like. And uh, like I said, it's got the, the glass that goes around the perimeter. So I chose this model because I don't have any little kids. And Now, I'm fixing to uh, put out the, uh, the fire. I've never used this tool before. The way that it works is you just slide it over top of the wick area and uh, it, it, it closes it off where air can't get in there and it just pretty much puts it out. So we're gonna do this for the first time. Uh, I gotta say, uh, two thumbs up for, for that. Well, I made it to nighttime to where I could get this thing lit up and I got to say, it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I didn't realize that this thing would put off as much light as it does. Uh, I've got nine 10 foot ceilings here in the living room and you can see that it really lights, lights the room up and it's pretty cool. You know, you can watch the uh, flames dancing off the walls and, and uh, flickering and it's just, it's just really calming and soothing. So. Anyways, I'm glad I, I, I got one. And uh, one other thing is I can't believe how much heat it puts off. Uh, I'm sitting about, I don't know, three and a half, four foot away from it here on the couch. And I can feel the heat 
uh, just barely on my on my knees. And if I put my hand out like this, I can I can definitely feel the heat on the back of my hand. And uh, you wouldn't think that uh that unit would put out as much heat as it does, but I tell you, that's quite nice on an uh, on an evening where you know it's nice and chilly outside. You want to set this out on the the patio and you know kind of set the mood or whatever. Uh, this thing definitely definitely does that. And uh, I gotta say, it does it with a, a a real modern look to it. So, anyways, I'll put a link to uh, Loving Flames website down below. Uh, check out their website. But anyways, appreciate you watching. And uh, you know, if you like it, put it down in the comments below. If you'd like to see me review something else, put that down there in the comments below, and I'll try to, you know, uh, answer your questions and comments and all that. So, until next time, guys, I really appreciate you watching. Talk to you later.